guys, Chris with Half Chrome. Today we are here in Raceway Woods uh, up in the Chicago area. Uh, famous and called Raceway Woods because it used to have a racetrack here, so like cars. So we've already done a review on the Vituvia Reindeer, but Vituvia does a really good job branding their bikes as fun for off-road activities. So we figured that's what was next up for this thing. I have a true cross country rig, lightweight, 27 and a half pounds, meant for going uphill, downhill, everything, rear suspension. So this is very different for me. And uh, honestly, I was a little worried about the frame here. So what you can see is this is more of like a traditional lady style of frame. Now it's not PC anymore. They call it step through, because uh, you can step through it. Now I'm not used to that, so I still mount it like a horse, but point is this is the weak spot here they're missing a section of what would be there on a normal mountain bike or really most bike frames to optimize weight and strength um, so that's not here and that was the risk and concern of mine coming out here with this that maybe I end up flopping this frame and end up in the hospital it did not happen Before we finish the video about the bike, real quick, Jack's going to come in here to tell you uh, about the drone we're using to capture some of these shots. This is the DJI Avada, and this is what I used for all of those kind of chase shots. A lot of those dynamic shots were done with this. If you're thinking about, you know, getting into FPV or adding a drone to your repertoire, this thing is absolutely the best if you want to chase things, add some real movement, FPV. This is the best drone, great camera, easy to fly, at least comparatively to a lot of these other things we're flying. Thanks, Jack, that was pretty intense. All right, now let's talk about the bike again. First up, some of the things I really like. The fat tires are cool, getting plenty of grip, although they do add quite a bit of weight and rolling weight, makes the steering feel a little bit different. I had no issues with the speed. It is super fun cranking at 25, 30 miles an hour when normally I would be going much slower than that so this bike is absolutely a ton of fun overall i would say the shocks the front shocks not quite as uh, good as my higher end shocks i got on my mountain bike and i'm definitely missing having that rear suspension you can lower the tire pressure as low as i think 5 or 10 psi on these fat tire bikes but i definitely don't recommend it if you are going 30 miles an hour the steering as you can imagine on those basically flat tires is not so hot you feel like the wheels rolling around so I kept the pressure pretty high and with that definitely not as squishy as the ride I'm used to with the rear suspension one other thing I'm definitely gonna change on this bike is the grips while it has these big kind of sur high surface area um, for your palm to sit on uh, the materials this kind of fake leather stuff I definitely need some rubber uh, to help me uh, maintain a good grip on the handlebars it wasn't my favorite. If there's one thing uh, you're gonna notice about a bike like this, it's the weight. So getting it in and out of the car, getting it around is really the biggest problem. Um, somebody my size, no issue handling the bike itself, um, but it's not gonna be the most nimble going uphill either. Um, partially because this is a rear uh, drive or a hub drive motor. So what that means is it's not geared. So the low end torque here, not the best. Um, this thing is really to get you going from slow to high speed and get you maintaining that higher speed. 
but at really slow speeds and going uphill or starting from a dead stop going uphill it doesn't have that much torque now if you had that pedal drive or central drive motor um, it's going to have the advantage of the gear so if you're in a granny gear a higher a lower gear going uphill uh, you're going to get the full advantage of the motor there um, so you'll you'll get those also this does have a cadence sensor which um, you know not quite as good as a torque based sensor um, which is going to be a little more responsive and be related to not how fast you're pedaling but how hard you're pedaling Overall, this bike is a ton of fun. I've been riding it a lot. Uh, it's great to have around the house um, where I can take it over to the forest preserve and rip around there. Um, get a little bit of a workout, but really just to have a ton of fun. I definitely recommend an e-bike if you don't have one already. Something that can go over 20 miles an hour for sure. They're just more fun. And this fat tire option is a great one. The 2 V Reindeer, at the end of the day, it held up great despite the fact the frame um, isn't really optimized for this kind of riding. But I had no issues, wasn't taking it off 10 foot jumps or anything, but it held up great for me. And they have plenty of other models that look a little bit more like a mountain bike frame. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't, and we'll uh, see you next time here on Half Grown.